In this section of getting started with Oracle Visual Builder, we're going to create a responsive web application. We already have our business object defined, so we can click on responsive app or just click up here and click to create a new application. We're going to give it a name to the, our application. There are three options of menus uh, without a menu or with a menu on the left side or on the bottom that we can choose. And then we can set up, um, for example, areas in our page, the menu options, which would be flows in our application. Each component or each menu would become a flow over here. And we're going to go into the first page inside the first flow and open it in the visual editor. The visual editor is just a visual way to look at your page HTML, but it's interactive. So for example, you can click on the title over here and you can modify it like that. When you change something, you can also see it in the code. So you can see the code over here. This is the HTML code for the page. And you can modify things in the, in the code as well. If you switch back to the visual view, you'll see the representation in here. On the left side, you have a list of all the components that you can add to your user interface. There are over 150 components built in, and you can get even more components and import external components also. At the bottom, you have your structure pane for the page where you can see, for example, the various areas in your page. We're going to start to lay out our page using some layout components. So if we scroll down our list, we're going to find, for example, our panel component, which we can position over here and then resize. Let's add another panel next to it. Another way to find component is to use the search box at the top. So for example, we're going to look up for an input search component and we're going to bring it over to the left panel and then resize it to occupy the full space here. We're then going to pick up a table component, put it below our search. And on the right side, we want to show some charts. So let's add, for example, a bar chart over here on the right side and increase the size. Each component has a bunch of properties that we can modify from here. For example, we can switch the chart to be horizontal, or we can switch the type of the chart that we're showing here. Okay. We're interested in a bar chart, so we'll keep it like that. In addition, various components would have quick starts. For example, the table component that we selected has a quick start that allows us to add data to the component. Okay. Before we add data to the component, we're going to show you that for other fields where there isn't a quick start to add data, you can actually go over to the data tab and map the data from the component into a variable. So we're going to create a variable here. We're going to call it the search variable. And this is going to hold the value that we place in this field. Now let's go back to our table and use the quick start to add data coming from the employees object that we created. And we're going to show the picture, the name, and whether an employee is a manager in this table. We can switch the type of component that would be used for each one of those fields. Click Next. In Filter Criterion, we can add, for example, conditions to filter the data. We're going to look for the name field and we're going to check if it contains, and again, this can be other operation here. We're going to check if it contains whatever we put in the search variable like that. So this is our condition for filtering the data in the table. Let's click Finish, and we can now switch to Live Mode. In Live Mode, we can see the data already here, and we can interact with the page. For example, if I type Sean, I'm going to get Sean over here. If instead I type just the letter J, I'm going to get every employee that has a J in their name. Similarly, if I type A, all the employees that have A in their name. Just like we bounded the table to data, we can do the same thing to the chart. Click on the chart, use the add data component, quick start and choose the employee. And in this case, we want to show the salary for each employee name. We can again either decide to show filtering or in our case, just show all the employees over here and their salary. 
So this is how easy it is to build your first page. In addition, Visual Builder can be used to interact with the data beyond just showing data. You can also use Visual Builder to edit and create data. Again, we can use a quick start on the table to create an edit page for an employee. So let's click on the table, click quick start, click edit page, and we're going to add interaction with the employee object, both for fetching and updating the data. We can decide which fields we want to show. I'm going to also pick the department and the manager field. Again, we can reorganize fields over here and move them around based on the order we want to see things. This is going to create a button with edit employee and a page title and a name for a page. We can, for example, call this page just the edit employees page. Let's click finish. So we are still on our employee start page, but now we have this edit employee button. And the interaction is that we can click on an employee and select it. The button becomes enabled. We can click on edit employee and go into the page where we can edit the data about this employee. We can, of course, modify the structure of this page. For example, if I choose the form that contains all the fields, I can set it so it would show two columns of data like that. I can remove fields that I don't want to allow people to edit, for example, the picture field. Note that fields with relationships have automatically been populated. For example, this is the list of department we positioned and created in the department object. Let's also mark Dave as a manager and then click Save. This takes us back into this area of the page where we can see information about Dave and the fact that he is now a manager. So this completes the first part of creating pages. In the next part, we're going to talk about how to add business logic to your page.